everyone, this is Michael from Ride the Glide Segway Tours and Events. Today, we're going to be unveiling the new Gotway M Super V3, that's version 3. This particular one happens to be the 1600 watt battery. That's big, that's really big. You're going to get uh, a lot more miles out of it than you are with the 820. Anyway, why don't we open this thing up and have a look at it. Oh, and by the way, it's not that many pieces. It actually comes batteries out of it. I install the batteries, charge them up. I fill the tires up to 50 PSI. Well, normally 47 to 50 before any machine goes out. Anyway, let's open this thing. Okay. What we have in here, charge cord. Look at that for Canada. I like that. And then here we got the charger inside the box. There it is, all wrapped up. This particular charger <laughs> is specific to the 1600 watt M Super. Uh, this one won't fit the 820. The 820 is different. And now, <laughs> for me to do my workout. So as of right now, the M Super V3 1600 watt happens to come with the white and the black. Doesn't come right now in a different color. It's different over the over the 820 watt where it's black and red. Only it's black like this with a red stripe around it. Uh, although they're going to be changing that now, it's going to look more like the ACM where it's going to be a flat black. Anyway, here it is. It's, uh, it's actually a really nice machine. And since, of course, I already installed the battery and have it charged up. Oh, listen to that. She's a humming. Push the button again. And we get the headlight going. Push it again. It flashes. And then push it again. And yep, it's off. You know. Captain's come with a brake light, so for safety all the time, comes with a telescopic, so that when you don't have to pack it around, you can actually leave it turned on and just walk it beside you. So that's an awesome feature, the way it's that's built in. And I've actually, I haven't rode the 1600 watt, but I have rode the 820, and it's actually a very nice ride. I really like it. And uh pads I don't know if you can see that the pads are actually actually nice and grippy it's got the rubber and it's got the sandpaper like feel to it and they're nice and big for your feet and of course is the tire on these things they're they're big it's a it's a very nice ride the brake lights also happen to be an indicator of battery power. So sometimes the less, the less brake light that you have, the less battery power that you do have. So that's another way to test. Um, also, if you have the app paired with your phone, it'll end up telling you percentage wise how much battery power you have. Um, the pads are nice and soft. They give you lots of good padding for the side of your leg. Um, got this uh, here's the charge port specific to the 1600 watt and then the other port right here is a USB port so you can also charge your uh, phone um, if you're riding um, or if you're part so when you finally get around to charging your machine what you want to do is you want to have your charger plugged into the wall uh, you want it ready to go so right now it's showing green only because well it's not plugged in. Unlike the 9Bots, the 9Bot you want to end up plugging the charger in first and then into the wall. With the Gotway you want to actually plug it into the wall first and then plug it into your machine when it's turned off. Otherwise if you don't do that you will find that the power from the machine will power up your charger so you'll get a spark when you're trying to plug the two in. So you want to end up finding that little that little groove in here 
and line it up with the bump on here and then plug it right in. So once it's plugged in, it will end up turning red to indicate that it's charging. This will turn back to green. And once it's fully charged and you're done charging, you want to in turn just unplug it from the machine and then unplug it from the wall. And then you're ready to ride. The manufacturer specs says that uh, this machine will do 50 kilometers an hour, which is pretty bloody fast. So I always suggest that you go slower than that. If it says it's 50, go 40. I mean, there's 40 is fast. <laughs> 40 is very fast. And regardless, I mean, many people will tell you it's not a matter of if you wipe out, it's a matter of when. So make sure you're always wearing a helmet. The mileage that you'll get to a charge, based on your weight, it's based on the temperature outside, um, your riding style. If you're gonna ride full speed, you're not, if they claim it's gonna get 60 or 80 K to a charge and you're gonna ride full speed, I wouldn't expect even half that to get that much. So if, if you wanna get the most mileage that you can out of it, think more about riding um, under half power because how aggressive, the amount of hills and stuff you're gonna use, that's all gonna seriously impact what kind of mileage you're gonna get off of a battery. And then charge time, you're gonna be looking at with the 1600, probably in around the 12 to 14 hours charge time to try and recharge this battery if you fully deplete it. They tend to slow you down the more battery power you lose. You want to be thinking about um, how much battery power do you have. If you have 30%, don't ride it like you stole it. Think of your own safety and others around you when you're riding it. Anyway, this is the Gotway 1600. Uh, I'm Mike from Ride the Glide. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, if I get more than two people watching this video, I'm going to put out another one.